Hi everyone, Joe Fernandez here once again and I'll be taking you through a knowing your enemy guide of 6 ways to counter retribution paladins. Brett paladins aren't really top tier classes, but if you meet good ones and don't know how they work, they could slay you quickly. The first and most important way of countering a rep paladin is by playing around their avenging wrath, aka wings. A rep paladin's avenging wrath is their biggest offensive cooldown and will usually be the only way a rep paladin could land a kill. There are a couple of ways you'll need to pay attention when Avenging Wrath is used. One being if they are using regular wings or crusade. The second being if they are using short wings or their big wings. Crusade takes a while to ramp up the damage, so you want to use defensive cooldowns when the cooldown is nearing its end or at 10 stacks of Crusade. You can also crowd control them during this so that he doesn't get the burst pressure off when he's at the max damage. If it's normal wings then there will be no stacks meaning they will have crazy pressure instantly, so you can use defensive cooldowns early if need be in order to survive. When it comes to small wings, this can be achieved by using Camera of Reckoning, or having a Vision of Perfection prog when it's your major essence. Either way, both of these versions of wings only last a short amount of time. This can be abused by Rep Paladins though to bait defensive cooldowns. Be careful not to fall into this trap which Acro does here using his entire defensive cooldown arsenal in order to survive the wings, but it was only short wings. You can use peels or keep Kai in them during small wings, but you want to save your big defensive cooldowns for their big wings. If unable to deal with big avenging rafts, it can easily be your demise, so make sure you can play around it properly by kiting them well or using big defensive cooldowns in order to survive. Another way to counter rare is to cross crowd control rep paladins in order to avoid Blessing of Sanctuary from being used. Blessing of Sanctuary is a PvP talent that can get their partner out of stun or fear effects, being on quite a low cooldown. To avoid this being used on healers or on their DPS, you want to cross crowd control them when you are going for their partners in order to force the Trinket Sanctuary out of them or deny the use of it completely. This can be done with most crowd control effects on the red and can be easier to accomplish with AoE effects such as shown here. The DK puts the red and the healer into a double blinding sleet followed by a double leg sweep forcing Kara to trinket and sanctuary his shaman in order to survive this setup. Note that during Sanctuary, the Shaman has a buff for a few seconds. This will mean additional crowd control like Sons of Fears will also be reduced by 70% during this time, so you do not want to try and chain crowd control through this buff. Simply weigh out its duration and go again later, ideally when the Ret has no Sanctuary ready. One of the biggest downfalls of Ret is their uptime, so as such most classes can kite them. The most efficient way to kite a Ret Paladin is by saving crowd control for their freedom plus Divine Steel so that they can't travel much during it. Paralysis, stuns, or any type of crowd control can mess it up and reduce their mobility by a ton. Crowd controlling them during their moments of mobility will make it much more difficult for them to build up pressure. It will also mean they have no mobility cooldowns later, allowing you to kite them after with ease. As a healer, you should be max distance against a rep paladin to deny his uptime on you, as well as his hammer of justice. This could force multiple cooldowns in order for them to simply connect onto you. If you crowd control their mobility, you can maybe avoid the hammer of justice or simply prepare for it better, knowing it will land. You could also peel the rare after his mobility, which will force them off their current targets, negating their pressure completely. In this situation, it will take a while for Pikachu to reconnect to the shaman, unless the shaman runs into him, showing how effective it can be to kite a rare paladin. If unable to kite them, maybe your best course of action will be to kill them instead. This is especially true for Caster Cleaves, as they can munch up rep paddies with their pressure since they have weak mobility as well as only one big defensive cooldown being Divine Shield. Without this, they can easily flop to magic damage. Melees can still kill reds too, but they would have to deal with Blessing of Protection as well as a potential eye for an eye which will make them much more durable. Make sure to be careful though, as if they have wings up, then you'd want to avoid them and kite them if they pop it, to take as little pressure as possible. Speaking of other defensive cooldowns, this one has the chance to make significant counter pressure, meaning to be careful of Shield of Vengeance. This cooldown can pack a serious punch if the damage falls off with one target in range, and if you're unprepared, it can easily take you down. There are three main ways to deal with this. In order, the best way is to kite it, avoiding its damage completely. This can be done by avoiding its explosion radius near the end of its duration, or bursting it down from a distance and avoiding the explosion as well, resulting in taking zero damage. 
If unable to avoid it, you could look to soak the burst with a partner. The damage is split depending on the amount of players in its explosion radius, making it deal less pressure to one target. Lastly, if you feel this pressure could kill you, then you could use a defensive cooldown before it explodes in order to weaken its blast. Magic reduction or immunity cooldowns will absorb a lot of this pressure, making you survive it with much more ease if unable to deal with the pressure in the other two ways. Another strength Red Paladin has is that they can have a strong amount of off heals, which shouldn't be underestimated, as it can help out with their partners significantly. Their flash of light can do a lot of healing, especially with wings up. If they get a lot of flash heals off, it can save big defensive cooldowns from being used or a partner's life. Here Pikachu helped Zen maintain his health pool, topping himself and saving the use of a potential Divine Shield. Try to stop these heals from going off so that you can increase your chances of getting these cooldowns or landing a kill. Here is another example where Pikachu just about saves Zen's life. This extra amount of healing will not only be able to make his partners more durable, he will also be saving his healer a significant amount of mana. Having these off heals paired with Blessing of Wisdom will make for a favourable mana win condition, which could also lead to your defeat if you allow the red to flash of light too much. So don't underestimate these heals, making sure you prevent them when you want to force defensive cooldowns or trying to score kills. That concludes our 6 ways to countering Retribution Paladins. Hope this guide helps and don't forget to leave any comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next one.